It's a milestone for China's rapidly expanding space program. The Shenzhou 12 is heading to space with three astronauts on board. The solar panels unfolded successfully and will declare the Shenzhou 12 launch a complete success. Veteran astronauts Ni Hai Xing, Li Bo Ming, and Tang Hongbo will spend three months in orbit. As it's our first time to operate a 90 day stay in space, we have tried a 33 day stay before, which needs a qualitative improvement this time. The three month flight is a long term human crew space flight, which requires astronauts to stay in a relatively narrow and confined environment, and it takes time to adapt to weightlessness. The team's first tasks will be preparing for their stay. Building a bathroom, a kitchen and three bedrooms on the space station before continuing the construction and maintenance of Tianhe. During the three months of working and living in orbit, the Shenzhou 12 crew will test the long-term spacelift supporting technologies, such as regenerative environment control and life support the resupply of space station goods and materials, and astronaut health management. With the support of the robotic arm, the astronauts will carry out the extravehicular activities for relatively longer durations for the first time and perform such operations as extravehicular equipment installation, repair and maintenance. China hopes to have a fully crewed space station by December 2022. It's planned 11 missions over the next 18 months, four of them manned. Once complete, Tianhe may become the sole inhabited outpost orbiting the Earth, as the two-decade-old International Space Station's term ends in 2024. There's a possibility the ISS's tenure will be extended, but Russia has signaled it may end its partnership with the US and collaborate instead with China. The two have already begun drawing up ambitious plans for future space missions that would directly compete with those of the US and its partners. Although Beijing has promised to open its space station to foreign astronauts and scientific experiments, there's no doubt it will be a Chinese-dominated endeavor. Sarah Firth, TRT World.